Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 11, verse 6, and it says this. But the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time I will deliver all of them slain before Israel. You shall hamstring their horses and burn their chariots with fire. After the kings in the promised land of Canaan, heard about what the Israelites did to Jericho and Ai. They gathered their armies together to fight against Joshua and the children of Israel. These kings combined forces were so great in number that the Bible describes them, said that their numbers were like the sand that is on the seashore. Can you imagine that? Wow. Despite their size, God encourages Joshua not to be afraid of them, not to fear them. God knows that we have a tendency to make our obstacles so much bigger than he is. Despite the overwhelming odds, God promises victory and provides specific instructions on how to handle the situation. Now, this shows us that when God is with us, our obstacles, even though they may seem to be great, they're not too great for him to handle. And his guidance is key to overcoming the challenges that we face, whether it is in our personal life, whether we're dealing with a strained marriage relationship or rebellious children or an annoying neighbor that we got to deal with every day, or maybe it's in our professional lives. Uh, maybe we have a situation where we have an insecure and a, uh, an abusive boss, or we have a difficult co-worker that we have to deal with, or maybe there's some company policy or a practice that really goes against the Bible and what we believe. Or maybe it's on our spiritual journey. Maybe we still have something in our lives that we need to get rid of in order to grow closer to the Lord. Now, whatever it might be, this verse reminds us that with God's help, we we need not fear. We need not be afraid. God promises are trustworthy and his guidance is perfect. He can lead us to victory over any challenge that we might face today. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I, I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.